hey guys this is joy i am back again for another video welcome welcome to the channel um let's get into the message i'm going to be doing the messages for scorpios let me actually get my candles lit bear with me scorpies my beautiful gorgeous scorpios i do appreciate you guys' patience i've just been really really busy you guys My beautiful Scorpios. Let's see what messages and what guidance we can get for my Scorpionics. Scorpionics. My dad's a Scorpio. <laughs> they are something else. So let's see. What messages and what guidance do we have? So this is going to be for Scorpios for the first half of April. So April the 1st through the 15th. And as I always say, I do appreciate you guys' patience. All right. What's going on for the Scorpios? What guidance can we get? So someone is going to be taking a risk. I have to make sure my shoulders are relaxed. That's why I said I'm looking forward to my retreat coming up because... I need it. It's a um, yoga healing retreat that I'm going to in Hawaii. So you guys be praying for me as I travel. It's going to be May the 28th through the June the 2nd. So hopefully all this craziness is going to be over around that time. But even if it's not, I pray for a safe travels. So all is well. Um, so yeah, let's see what messages and what guidance we can get for the Scorpios. And also, for those that are interested, um, don't forget my one, two, three question read giveaway. Um, just go ahead and leave a comment if you guys are interested. Alright, I'm going to be choosing a live uh, winner on the video that I do here on live on YouTube. Make sure you don't miss out on that. You can ask me any questions about your love life. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with the Taurus. Or maybe some of you guys are married right now. Or you're going to be married. Or you're going to be becoming stable. Or somebody is seeing how stable you are around this time. Okay. So we do got the Seven of Cups in a reverse. So I do feel like someone is coming out of some sort of confusion. Um, oh, and also I forgot to mention, if any of you guys would like a personal or a private reading, go ahead and send me an email at livenarkfree9 at gmail.com. Do you guys like my shirt? Love is everywhere. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, I know right now it don't really seem like that. But anyway, God is love. But yeah, so um, with the Eight of Pentacles, I do feel like somebody is wanting to work on the situation or fix something. Or a lot of you guys could be really busy at work around this time. I do feel like something is going to be going into someone's favor. Somebody wants success. Someone is wanting good fortune. Um, some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, somebody is going into isolation, you know, with the whole quarantine stuff. So someone's probably, you know, really discovering themselves, meditating, staying focused. Um, you know, just really being by themselves around this time. Maybe just, you know, thinking about a situation yeah somebody could be wanting to reunite with you with the three of cups reconcile or this could have been a third party situation all right so let's see for scorpios sun moon rising and venus let's see what messages and what guidance we can get So there's a lot of pentacles so a lot of you guys could be for sure dealing with an earth sign or you might have earth in your chart I'm feeling here something in the recent past might have been hidden. Something was probably unclear or something could have made you unhappy. I'm going to go ahead and re reveal the card. Some of you guys might be dealing with the Leo as well. So we do got the Sun card, Leo energy um, in the reverse for the recent past. We have, we have the Hierophant here, Taurus energy for the present energy. With the future energy, we do have the Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well as the challenge between you and another person. And we do have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse for the potential outcome. So this could be a pair. Or you could be dealing with your counterpart. 
but maybe there's a female figure that is selfish overwhelming overbearing for you maybe if some of you male scorpios are focused on your work you're trying to stay busy maybe some of you guys are looking to commit to a situation or maybe you were learning something new a higher level of learning maybe or maybe it's like a belief system you're focused on like your beliefs your ideas or maybe you're learning something new and you're focused on that and maybe a queen of pentacles could be interfering with something or maybe you're losing a queen of pentacles or maybe if you're a female scorpio maybe you're um not really as stable as you think you are maybe you're needing to focus on that around this time maybe you're looking for new work this could be a mother figure here as well somebody could be wanting to be a caretaker or provide for somebody in a situation while we have the king of pentacles someone could be striving to be a business owner a businessman the man the hat the head of the household somebody could be striving to do that maybe they're just having some struggles and some challenges maybe it's about maybe it's because of their belief system that they're going through something um, but I am seeing here in the recent past, there was some sort of deception that someone was needing to let go of with the Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy. Why is the Seven of Swords here in the reverse for the recent past? Yeah, we got the Empress. I feel like maybe somebody could have been trying to abuse their power here. Somebody could have been, you know, being very sneaky, trying to get away with something. Or I feel like maybe somebody did get away with something. And somebody could have lost control over a situation. Now this made them unhappy in the recent past. Why is the Hierophant here with the present energy? Yes, yeah, something was toxic. And I feel like someone is getting over a regret or a disappointment or a loss of a relationship. You guys could be dealing with a Capricorn or you might have this in your chart. Now I see someone's regretting a situation or regretting a relationship. Or maybe regretting investing in a commitment. Maybe a commitment was toxic. And now someone's getting over this. Hmm. Something could have been toxic about a relationship. Or toxic about a commitment. Or toxic about a Taurus. Let's see. Why is this four of wands here for the... Oops. My bad. <laughs> All these cards are right here. My bad, you guys. Why is the Four of Wands here for the future energy? Yeah, I feel like um, somebody is going to be healing from a situation or wanting to heal a commitment or just heal, heal their stability or heal, heal their foundation. I do feel like something might have came to an end and there's going to be a new cycle beginning. Some of you guys could be going into a new commitment and now you're going to be healing from a situation. You're healing from a, to a toxic marriage or a toxic Capricorn. Um, why is the King of Pentacles here as a challenge between you and another person? Why is the King of Pentacles here as a challenge? Yeah, um, this could be a same-sex relationship, not for all. But um, we have a King of Pentacles and a King of Cups. So someone was struggling to reveal their emotions and their feelings. Somebody was passionate about somebody, but they were holding back. I kind of get this in like most of the stories like somebody in the collective is just not really emotionally not emotionally available not emotionally open and maybe you know really struggling with their finances or you know just working to build themselves up like slowly but surely they're they're wanting to be ahead of the household they want to be a caretaker they want to help others or they're used to being looked up to but they have so many emotions and feelings for a particular person is what I'm seeing. Someone's needing to change their perspective. Yeah, the fool. Someone was having a difficult challenge on um, taking a risk, taking a leap of faith with maybe expressing their emotions. All right. Why is the queen of pentacles here? Yeah, in the reverse. Someone um, could be wanting to come back to reconcile with a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn. Or with a Scorpio, it could be you, Scorpio, or Scorpio, you're wanting to do this. But I feel like somebody could be wanting a second chance here. Or some of you guys might be wanting to go back to an old job. Or you're going to be starting over. You're going to be focusing on yourself, getting your shit together. Excuse my language. <laughs> 
or you need to do this. Yeah, because somebody could have felt like something was unfair, maybe about a third party. But yeah, someone's going to have a victory. And I feel like um, somebody is not really wanting to work on a situation. Because we got, um, this also could have something to do with legalities, like a marriage. Maybe it could have been out, outside gossip influencing a marriage. But I do feel like someone is going to get victory with the Six of Wands here. Somebody's going to be successful. Somebody maybe that for sure wants to reconcile. Maybe they're going to be successful with a reconciliation. Someone is like trying hard, I see. Because they could feel like something is unfair. So what we're going to do in the extended, we're going to see, is this person going to successfully um, reconcile with a particular person? Are they eventually going to open up? What is, we're going to find out what is this devil energy right here. I'm seeing somebody is in despair. Somebody definitely feels regretful. I'm feeling heavily. We're going to get some fortune here. In the extended, we're going to see, um, we're going to get some messages from this person to you or you to them. Um, we're going to see what was this regret about? What came to an end here? Why is this justice card in the reverse? We're going to see what this person's intentions are, what they planning on saying to you. Was there a third party? Because I'm seeing three here. Is the third part party done and over with? We're going to see how this person feels about you, how they view you, messages from the universe as to what you should do about this connection. What's the guidance? We're going to get and see what the romance angels have to say about this connection as well. If you guys would like an extended, just send me an email at livenorkfree9 at gmail.com or you can either cash at, PayPal me, Vimeo or Zell me $11.11. .11. That's usually how it works. Or there's the link below. I might say like create a PayPal account. You don't necessarily have to, but so sometimes it might say it if you, you don't already have a PayPal. But yeah, I'll also do emergency readings as well, you guys. Same day emergency readings. Yeah, so I feel like someone is concerned. Let me get one more card just to confirm. This is about a male figure, a masculine is going through something, some sort of regrets. Maybe somebody was deceptive. Something about somebody's work. Yeah, somebody feels stuck or you could feel stuck to a particular person. Someone feels bound. So we got wealthy man. We got pathway. We got concern. We're going to see what this concern is about in the extended as well. Um, official person toil and labor and occupation so someone is definitely maybe you know changing their occupation maybe someone's looking for work someone could be concerned about their money their finances or something like that or concerned about their their occupation maybe they're not working as as hard as they used to or something but somebody could be concerned about a new path a new life, a new journey, a new, you know, way of being. Let me get one more. Let's get a psych psychic tarot real quick. Let's see what we can get. I'm doing this because I, Scorpio was the last zodiac sign that I had to do. So I appreciate you guys for waiting. <laughs> Whoa, I need to do another show. There we go. That sounded better. <laughs> Let me cut the deck. What's going on for Scorpios? What do they need to know? Someone was maybe lacking confidence in a relationship due to their work. Someone probably didn't feel good enough or their work. Somebody was probably a workaholic. Let's get one more. 
So someone could be also be wanting a relationship or a partnership with you. Yeah, power. So someone could be wanting to take authority over a situation. Somebody could be having some sort of pride. Somebody could be, you know, needing to have hope or it could be lacking the hope. Hope came in the reverse, but we got memories of love. We got the sacral chakra. We got partner in alliances and mental conflicts. So someone is definitely having some sort of mental conflicts, maybe about a partnership, maybe about um, a person like a, a lover. Someone could be confused. Someone could be needing to open up their sacred chakra. All right. And with that one, I usually, oh, I want to read the sacred chakra real quick because I'm kind of new to this stuff too. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's see here. The sacral chakra. Just real quick. I wasn't planning on being this long. Hold on, you guys. Okay, yeah. So it says, known as the sacral chakra, the second chakra is located between two fingers below your navel and relates to emotions, desires, creativity, and sexuality. To keep this chakra balanced and its energy flowing, try dancing, moving your hips, lower abdomen, use meditation, express your sexuality, and nurture yourself. Remember, you do matter. So someone is needing to, again, something about someone's worth. Someone needed to know their worth. Probably a male figure or anyone, female figure too. A Leo could be involved. For sure. Or a Virgo. Alright, that's what I have. If you guys are interested, follow me over to the extended. We can go a little bit deeper. We can see what this person's hopes and their wishes is in regards to this relationship. What's going to be the overall outcome. And um, yeah, the challenges and the obstacles. Alright. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye, Scorpios.